Hey, this is Randy from Easy Wax. Am I speaking with James? Yes. Hi, Randy. Hi, James. We need to order 10 flat screen monitors. Can you take the order now? Sure. Let me call you right back from my desk. Hi, Randy. This is James again. I'm ready to get your order going. Okay. Let me do this right. Select Logistics on the SAP Easy Access menu. Select Sales and Distribution. Select Sales. Select Order. Select Create. Type OR in Order Type for Standard Orders. Click on the green check mark to open Create Standard Order Form. Type the EasyWax code 2805 in the Sol2 Party field. Type the flat screen code M-08 in the Material field. How many do you need? We need 10 flat screens. Type in the order quantity. Purchase order reference. Just put PO1. Whoops, your credit check failed. This is odd. Why would that happen? I know we have maximum order value for new customers. I suspect this is that. Can you split the order? We only need five sets this month. Let's split up the order. Thanks for your patience. When do you need the other five? Later in the year? If we can get them by 31st July, that would be great. Okay, I'll make that order first. Click on the required delivery date to change the date. Type the new date as 31.07.2016. Fill the flat screen code M-08 in material and fill in the quantity. Order date changed. Click the check mark to continue. Click on the save to icon. This order has been saved. Let's make the current one. Fill 2805 in sold to party and PO2 for PO number. Put in the material code for flat screens and the quantity required. Um, I'll have to talk to my boss and call you right back. Talk to Sarah at her desk on the other side of the room. Hi Sarah, I need your help. What can I help you with? I have a customer whose order is getting credit blocked even though I can save it. Of course. Credit check failure usually isn't the end of the story. We might decide as a business decision to allow the order through. The order is saved with a flag called a credit block. It can't be delivered until the credit block is removed. Credit block can be removed by an authorized person manually. Can I remove the credit block for Easy Wax? They need to order 10 flat screens. First, find out why the credit block came up. You can look up the information in SAP. I don't know how. Who can help? I'm sorry. I can't help you as I have a call in a few minutes. Talk to Linda in finance. Talk to Linda, the finance executive. 
The finance office is through the door near James's desk. Hi James, what brings the new sales star to finance? Hi Linda, I need your help. I have a customer, EasyWax, whose order is getting credit blocked. It could be because of maximum document value. We don't allow large orders from new customers in order to limit our risk. It can't be that. I already tried splitting the order into two. While the order I made for July got saved without any problems, the current order got credit blocked again. The customer is genuine, even though they are new. I've sold goods to them once before. Did the payment come in? I'm not sure. Can you help me check? Sure, let's go to my desk. Click on Accounting. Select Financial Accounting. Select Accounts Receivable. Click on Credit Management. Select Sales and Distribution Documents. Select Sales and Distribution Documents blocked for delivery. Put in the customer code for EasyWax 2805. Click the Execute button. Hint, it's the clock with the tick icon. There's your block. But why is it blocked? Let's check. Let's leave this list. Click Yes. Within Credit Management, click on Account. Select Analysis. Put in the customer code for EasyWax 2805. Click on Sales. Sure enough, they have an unpaid invoice. Double click on the sales amount 3.70854 to drill down further. Double click the white line to drill down further. To see the document, click on the mountain and sun icon. I still can't tell what this is for. We can pull up the invoice. Select Logistics. Click Sales and Distribution. Click Billing. Select Information System. Click Billing Documents. Select List Billing Documents. Put in the customer code for EasyWax 2805. Double click the date to bring up the invoice. They didn't pay for these three screens. I'll call Randy. Hi Randy, I traced the credit block to an unpaid invoice. What's it for? The three flat screens delivered in March. We never received the bill for those. I'll send you another copy and remove the block. Click on the Go To button. Select Header. Click Output. Click on the grey box at the start of the Print Output row to print. Report back to Sarah. Go back to the sales office through the door. Did you manage to resolve the issue? Yes. It seems that there was an invoice that the customer did not receive. I've sent them a copy now. Okay, remove the block and process the new order. Did you use SAP? Yes, 
It was a huge help. We were able to get all the information we needed easily. Well done.